Yeah. Draymond Green said, we suck. Like, what's really wrong with the Golden State Warriors? You guys are 0-2, man. I get it. Draymond, man, you're talking too fast, man. You guys are 0-2. You lost to Oklahoma City. 92-102, to man. I totally get it. But it's a long season, my boy. You got a long way to go, man. I totally get it. But you got to look at the other things around the NBA, man. First of all, let me talk about Zion Williams is going to be out six to eight weeks, man. The New Orleans Pelicans star is supposed to be one of the leading NBA players, has the leading NBA role this season for a rookie. Drew Brees passed the key to the city along to him. Hey, these boys is supposed to be hot. They have nine TV slots on TV before Christmas. So they're expecting Zion Williams to be there. You know, Trace McGrady called out. He said, you know what? He felt like Zion Williams should, win, should lose 30 to Probably like 20, 30 pounds, man. I totally agree with what Tracy McGrady said. He was on the show called The Jump. And I totally agree, man. He's too big. Even though he's an elusive player, he's a great player. Man, trust me. I know the Zion Williams is going to be good. But you got to lose weight. I'm sorry, man. Somebody that's 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, you weigh 280 pounds. Nah, bro. You got to lose weight, man. Seriously. It's going to be hard on your knees. But let's move along, man. Pascal Siakam. Signed a four-year, $130 million contract, man. Man, that's a good deal. 25 years old, 6'9", forward. Raptors. Man, he's a good player. Average 19 points per game, 7.1 rebounds per game last season. In the postseason for the Toronto Raptors when they went on their championship run. Man, that's a big deal right there, man. But... We got to talk about what's going on tonight. You got the Green Bay Packers playing the Kansas City Chiefs tonight. They're on right now. Also, you got Houston versus Washington. They're both 2-2 two and two in the World Series. That game is on tonight. I'm not sure how far along it is right now. I've been doing a lot of research, but I know they're 2-2. Two two. A lot going on, man. Bryce Harper played for Washington. What's the deal? He was there for seven years, but he's not there now. Signed a big contract with the Philadelphia Phillies. I'm not mistaken. It's like a 13-year, $330 million contract. But guess what? The Nationals came back and signed a lot of productive players, pitchers, and outfielders that made these guys successful this season, which is why they're in the World Series, man. That's the real deal, man. So Green Bay, Kansas City on the night. Houston versus Washington tonight. They're both 2-2, two and, two, and they're in the World Series. So I want to move on. I want to talk about the NFL today. A lot of good games that were going on. Uh, matter of fact, let's talk about them Saints, man. Them Saints were pretty good. Latavius Murray stepping in the starting role. Went for 102 yards, one TD. Nine receptions, 55 yards, and a TD. Kyler Murray, you know, he's leading that team, Arizona Cardinals. He's a rookie, but he's still doing a good job. Uh, 220 yards, 13 yards rushing. Didn't have a TD. But my team, the Tennessee Titans, have won over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 27-23. L.A. Rams beat the Bengals, 24-10. San Francisco 49ers. Man, San Francisco was hot. That defense for the San Francisco 49ers is off the charts. They beat Carolina Panthers. Panthers. 51-13. Patriots also beat the Cleveland Browns, 27-13. Patriots are undefeated as well. Tom Brady threw for 259 yards and two TDs. That's terrific. Tom, that's the guy. That is my man. No, not really. That's not my man. My team is the Tennessee Titans. My cousins probably got hyped for a minute, but no. I think that he's going to take a step back, just like I said. I don't care what y'all think. I think the Patriots are some slaw, and they will be after this. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. No, nah, but the Patriots are good, man. Seriously. Their defense is actually the best defense in the NFL right now. That's the truth. And they probably will win the Super Bowl if they get there to that position. So, let's talk about the NCAA football. I mean, I was happy about my Vols. You see the gear that I got on right now. The Vols won over South Carolina, 41-21. Great game. Jared Garantano. Actually, Jared Garantano. 229 yards, two TDs. JT Shrout, 122 yards, one TD. Jawan Jennings, seven receptions, 174 yards, and two TDs. 
Juwan Jennings was doing his thing for South Carolina. Helensky was 319 yards and one TD. Feaster, 80 yards and one TD. A lot of notable games running NCAA. Still part of my balls. Man, make it to the postseason. That's all I got to say. Michigan over Notre Dame, 45-14. Clemson over BC, 59-7. Alabama over Arkansas, 48-7. LSU over Auburn. That was a close game right there, 23-20. TCU over Texas. What? 37-20. Oklahoma lost to KSU, man. That's a big deal right there, man. SMU beat Houston, 34-30. SMU is also still undefeated, man. It's a big deal, man. It's gonna be a, this is gonna be a good season, man. I feel like the Vols are actually gonna make it to the the postseason, hopefully, and we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. I gotta talk about my boy uh, Earl, Spence, Earl Spence Jr. Uh, he was involved in an accident, 3 a.m. October the 10th of 2019. He was injected from the driver's seat of his car. His car, his, his car flipped uh, multiple times. He was charged with a DUI misdemeanor, Class B. He had plans to fight Danny Garcia on January 23rd, but the cl- but the crash and the charges put those plans in the hole actually right now, so we don't really know if he's going to fight on that date. But uh, we'll see. There's actually a big fight on the 23rd. If you guys don't know what that fight is on November the 23rd, you need to check that out. I'm not even going to put any names out there right now. But I'm just going to say right now that uh, – Oklahoma, I don't really know what's going on because I'm here in Texas. You know Oklahoma. Got beat by Kansas State this weekend. And the weekend before, the Boomer Schooner, whatever that thing is, the car, they flipped over. I don't even know what happened. Nobody was injured. But I got to say, man, that was a freak accident, man. That was it, it, it wasn't funny, but it was like, check it out on YouTube, man. That car flipped over. But anyway, I'm your host, William Allen, man. Thank you for joining me, man. Tennessee all day, all day, night. Dallas Cowboys are not playing this weekend, so the Cowboy fans, you know, you guys started off hot. You guys were 3-0, and then you went 3-3. and You lost three games, and then you won again, you know. So, we'll see what them Cowboys are doing, but we're going to check in with them Cowboys all season long. That's what we do. Thank you for joining me on Sports Talk. Stay blessed.